The 80s wasn't just about big hair and mullets or Michael Jackson or Back to the Future. Where? Back to the Future! The 80s was the start of a new era of technology. Let's go down memory lane and let's see how far we have advanced in our technology from the 80s to 2024. The Sony Walkman, introduced in 1979 but become popular in 1980. The Sony Walkman was the first truly portable personal cassette player and it revolutionized how people listen to their music. With the ability to carry music on the go, it became a must-have for music lovers. VHS and VCRs The VHS, the video home system, tape, and VCR video cassette recorder became widely popular in the 80s, allowing people to watch their movies at home and record their, tele their favorite television shows. How about the Casio Calculator Watch? The Casio Calculator Watch was a fun, functional gadget that became a symbol of the 1980s tech culture. It combined a digital watch with a tiny calculator, making it popular among students and professionals. And we can't forget about the Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES. It was released in 1993. The Nintendo Entertainment Center revived the video game industry after the early 80s crash. It became one of the most popular home video game consoles of all time. How about the IBM Personal Computer? It was made in 1981. The IBM PC 5150 was one of the first personal computers for homes and small businesses. Its open architecture made it standard for future PCs. We really can't forget the next one, the Polaroid Instant Camera. Although Polaroid introduced instant cameras earlier, models like the Polaroid Sun 660 and the Spectra become popular in the 80s. They could develop photos in minutes right in front of your eyes. How about the Atari 2600? Although released in 1977, the Atari 2600 became widely popular in the early 1980s. It brought arcade games into homes with titles like Pac-Man and Space Invaders. The Boombox, the classic icon of early movies. The boombox was a portable stereo system that could play cassettes and FM AM radio. It was very loud, bulky, and become a cultural symbol of the 80s, often associated with the hip-hop culture. The 80s also introduced digital alarm clocks. Digital alarm clocks became very popular in the 80s with large, easy-to-read LED or LCD displays replacing older analog clocks. Many featured radio or buzzer alarms. They were an early form of digital technology in everyday life, replacing the mechanical-style clocks. Alright, now time to get to today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is You The People. You The People are my sponsors, so the more that you like and you, you comment, share subscribe that's going to be sponsoring this channel that's going to help this channel out for me to get more content out uh also get more reviews uh, if you haven't checked out the review on the vader 4 pro go check that out if you haven't checked the out on the, the new samsung watch go check that out i have a lot of them again thank you thank you thank you thank you to all my subscribers so far go ahead and smash that like and smash that subscribe button if you're not subscribed <laughs> The 90s were a time of rapid technology advancements, setting the stage for digital era. In 1994, Sony introduced the PlayStation. The Sony PlayStation revolutionized home gaming with 3D graphics and CDs as the medium for games, moving beyond the cartridge used in earlier consoles. In 1998, Nintendo came out with their Game Boy Color. The Game Boy Color was an upgraded version of the original Game Boy with a colored screen, bringing handheld gaming into a whole new era. In 1996, we were introduced to DVD players, out with the VHS and in with the DVD. DVD players were introduced in the late 90s offering superior picture quality and sound quality compared to VHS types. In 1999, Nokia came out with the Nokia 3210. The Nokia 3210 was one of the most powerful mobile phones of the late 90s. It was compact, durable, and features the iconic Snake game. How about the Tamagotchi? The Tamagotchi came out in 1996. Tamagotchis were handheld digital pets that require players to feed, care for, and take care of their virtual creatures through a small monochrome screen. In 1998, Apple introduced the iMac G3. The iMac G3 was Apple's first all-in-one computer, notable for its colorful, translucent design and user-friendly interface. In the late 90s, we were introduced to MP3 players. MP3 players like the Diamond Rio were among the first portable devices that could store and play compressed digital music files, allowing users to carry their music collection 
without bulky CDs or tapes. In the 90s, we were also introduced to digital cameras. Digital cameras become more accessible in the 90s, but models like the Apple QuickTake and Sony Mavica, allowing users to take photos and store them digitally without the need for film. Microsoft Windows 95. Windows 95 wasn't a gadget in itself, but its release marked a significant moment in personal computing. The operating system introduced the start menu and a more user-friendly graphical interface. The Sony Discman, originally in 1984, but didn't become popular until the 90s. The Sony Discman portable CD player was the first introduced in the 1980s, but reached the height of its popularity in the 90s, as CDs become the more dominant music format. In 1994, we were introduced to zip drives. Zip drives allow the storage of large files up to 100 megabyte, but later increased on a removable disk, which was a significant improvement over floppy disk. Can't forget about beepers or pagers. In the 90s, we've seen beepers and pagers. Pagers or beepers were small devices that could receive messages and alerts. They were widely used for medical professionals and business people in the 90s to stay connected. <laughs> Then we start getting into the early 2000s where Apple iPhone 2007 was released. The iPhone redefined the smartphones by combining a phone, internet browser, and media player in a sleek touchscreen device. Also, Apple had the iPod released in 2001. The iPod was a portable digital music player that could store thousands of songs in a small device, making MP3 format the most popular format. Microsoft announced its Xbox in 2001. The Xbox was Microsoft's first entry into the gaming console market, featuring a powerful hardware and iconic games like Halo. Also, in the early 2000s, we were introduced to USB flash drives. USB flash drives become popular in the early 2000s as a portable and reliable way to store and transfer digital data. Also, the BlackBerry was released in the 2000s. The BlackBerry smartphone was a mobile device primarily used for business professionals for its email capabilities, full quarry keyboard, and strong security features. PlayStation releases PlayStation 2 in 2000. The PlayStation 2 was Sony's second gaming console and the best-selling console of all time with a massive library of games. Nintendo also jumped on a bandwagon in the 2000s with the Nintendo Wii. Released in 2006, the Nintendo Wii introduced motion sensing technology with its innovative Wii Remote offering a new way to play video games by physical interacting with the game. People were also saying goodbye to DVD players and VHS players whenever the TiVo came out. TiVo actually came out in 1999 but was very popular in the 2000s. TiVo was a digital video recorder DVR that allowed users to record TV shows and skip commercials transforming how people consume television. Digital cameras like Canon's PowerShot and Sony's CyberShot become highly popular in the 2000s, allowing people to capture high quality images without the need for film. GPS navigations also were introduced in the 2000s. GPS navigation systems for cars like the TomTom -Tom and the Garmin become widely used in the 2000s, helping drivers find their way with turn-by-turn -turn directions. We were also introduced to Bluetooth headsets in 2000 becoming popular for their hands-free calling, especially among business users, and paved the way for wireless audio devices like the AirPods. Also introduced in 2004 was the first GoPro, revolutionizing action photography with its compact, rugged camera design to capture high-definition video in extreme conditions. So now let's turn the page and look at today as of 2024, the tech world continues to push its boundaries with innovations in AI, robotics, wearable tech, and more. Apple now has the Apple Vision Pro. The Apple Vision Pro is a mixed reality headset that blends augmented reality and virtual reality, creating impressive, immersive experiences for productivity, entertainment, and social interactions. We've come a long way from Nokia when Google has a Pixel Fold. Google's first foldable smartphone, the Pixel Fold, combines the best Google software ecosystem with its innovative foldable screen, offering a tablet-like experience in a pocket-sized form. Other phones, such as the Samsung Samsung S24 Ultra. The S24 Ultra by Samsung continues the tradition of ultra premium Android phones with cutting edge hardware, including a 200 megapixel camera, advanced AI capabilities, and sleek, durable design. Straight out of movies like iRobot. The Tesla Optimus Robot. The Tesla Optimus Robot is a humanoid robot designed to perform everyday tasks from manual labor 
to personal assistance. It represents the next step in robotics for home and work environments. How about aerial cinematic drone footage from the air? With DJI's Mini Air Drone, the DJI Air 4 is compact high performance drone with advanced AI assistance photography and videography capabilities, obstacle avoidance technology, offering stunning 4K video and obstacle avoidance technology. Also with the latest technology in 2024, we have smartwatches like the Apple Series 9 and the Samsung Galaxy Ultra that can take your heart rate, let you know how good you slept, taking your temperature, and more. Not to mention that Sony, with their Sony PS5, have really revolutionized the way that video games are played. And the laptop technology that's increased the touchscreen laptops, down to smart TVs that can do just about everything but make you a cup of coffee. So I hope you enjoyed going down memory lane from the 80s to you know 2024. We have really, really just exploded from the 80s to today. So as of today, it is October 2024. I mean, our technology is just beyond. But just think about it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you this real quick before I'm out. Until Roswell happened, here's some conspiracy for you. Until Roswell happened, we creeped. Then when the Roswell incident happened, when the aliens come to America, you know, when we got hit with the, with the aliens, our technology boomed. We crawled for so many centuries and then boomed. Little conspiracy for you. Thomas of Tomology, catch you in the next one.